Hello friends, uh, this is Seven Sense Aptitude Prep and I welcome you uh, once again to our Aptitude videos. I am Vinod Prabhu. Today we look at the fourth video in ages and these are actual exam problems um, that we would encounter and we will see how even these problems can be solved with basic formulae and by application of basic concepts. Okay, so uh, we will start off with the exam problems. John has two daughters. Currently, he is three times the sum of the ages of his daughters. Five years from now, he will be twice the sum of the ages of his daughters. You have to find the age of John now. Okay. John has two daughters. We will take them as J and X and Y. Okay. Now, currently, let us say John's age currently is J, which is equal to three times sum of the ages of his daughters. Okay. John is three times the sum of ages of his daughters, x plus y. Five years from now, everyone would be five years older. Okay, five years from now is five years in the future. He'll be twice the sum of the ages of his daughters. Two times x plus five plus y plus five. Okay, so sorry, this is John plus five. This two times x plus five and y plus five. So, we will write j plus 5 is equal to 2 times x plus y plus you will have this plus this 5 plus 5 is 10 and into 2 is 20. Now, you will have to substitute x plus y as j by 3. Okay, we will have j by 3 as x plus y. Substitute that here. You get j plus 5 is equal to 2 times j by 3 plus 20 and when you take uh, things uh, to the appropriate side j minus 2j by 3 is equal to 20 minus 5 15 you will get this is j by 3 is equal to 15 j is equal to 45 Currently, he is three times the sum of his daughters. It means together his daughters will be 15. Three times 15 is 45. Okay, to verify. Currently, John is 45. Sum of the ages of his two daughters is 15 because three times 15 is 45. Five years from now, he will be 50. His daughters won't be 20. One daughter will increase by 5, the other daughter will increase by 5. The total will increase by 10. So, here there will be 25. 5 years from now, it will be twice the sum of the ages of his daughters. So, we have verified. John is 45 years old now. 27th question. When Tom and Tina got married, their ages were 6 is to 5. They purchased a home a few years after marriage. So, during the housewarming ceremony, what that means is, this is when they have purchased a home. Their ages are in the ratio 7 is to 6. And in their home, they celebrated the 15th wedding anniversary. Their ages were in the ratio 9 is to 8. After how many years of marriage did they buy their home? So let us say when Tom and Tina got married, their ages were marriage 6, 6 and 5x. Okay, 6, 6 and 5x. Now they purchased a home of a few years after marriage. And we do not know that. Let us say after y years they purchase a home. After y years they purchase a home. Then their ages will be in the ratio 6, 6 plus y and 5x plus y. This will be 7 by 6. But in their new home they celebrated their 15th wedding anniversary. It means from marriage. When you add 15 years to their age, so this is 15th wedding anniversary. 15th anniversary. Tom's age is 6x plus 15. Tina's age is 5x plus 15. That is equal to 9 by 8. Okay. When you multiply, you get 48x. 15 is a 120. 45x. 15 is a 135. 3x is equal to 15 x is equal to 5 if x is equal to 5 their ages are 6 into 5 
30 and 25 the time of marriage okay time of marriage so you keep that here in this equation so now you know there is a 6x is 30 plus y 5x is 25 so what it means is they were 30 and 25 at the time of marriage after y years they purchased the home so you do 30 plus y and 25 by 25 plus y is 7 by 6 either you can substitute 6x and 5x in this equation or you can consider that they married at 30 and 25 respectively and y years after marriage they purchased a home so you add y there both are the same 30x 30 into 6 is 180 plus 6y 25 into 7 is 175 plus 7y you would get means five years after the marriage they purchased a home at that time tom was 30 plus 5 35 and tina was 25 plus 5 30 okay if they ask their respective ages it is 35 and 30 here they only ask after how many years of marriage did they buy their home so their answer is 5 equals y which is five years after marriage let's look at the next problem father's age is 4 by 7th of grandfather's age. You will get father's age is 4 by 7th of grandfather's age. So, father is 4 by 7th of grandfather. Okay. Of grandfather's age. Jeff is grandfather. Hmm? And nothing else. So, you will get father's age is 4x. And grandfather's age is 7x. You can also write it that way. So, father by grandfather is 4 by 7. Our father is 4 by 7th of grandfather's age. You will get this. Mother's age is 80% of father's age. Okay. And child is 25% of mother's age. All of that is in the present. If mother's age was 22, 10 years ago. Okay. Mother's age was 22, 10 years ago. Now, how do you get it? The present age, you add 10. She was 22, 10 years ago. Presently, she is 22 plus 10. Mother's age currently is 22 plus 10 she was 22 10 years ago which means now she is 22 plus 10 32 she is now 32 years old mother mother is 80 percent of father's age so how do you get it if 80 percent of something is 32 100 percent of that is how much you get 32 into 100 by 80 4, 24, 24, 25, 1, 8, you get 40. That is father's age. Mother's age is 32, father's age is 40. Child is 25% of mother's age. Don't take 25% here. Or rather, don't take 25% at 22. You have to take 25% here. Current age of mother, don't take 25% of 22. You have to take current age. So, child is 25% of mother's age. 25% you can write it as 1 fourth. Okay, because 25 by 100 into 32. 1, 4 and, and 8. Child is 8 years. Child's age you have gotten. We now have to find the age of the grandfather. Father's age is 4 by 7th of grandfather's age. So, if father is 40. Grandfather will be 7 by 4 into 40. Why, uh, why are we not multiplying 4 by 7 into 40? I will show you how. So, if you do grandfather's age is 7 by 4. See, father's age is 4 by 7th of grandfather's age. Which means, father's age will be less, grandfather's age will be more. If you take father's age as 40 and multiply that by 40 into 4 by 7, the grandfather's age will be lesser than the father's age. Father sage is something, grandfather sage should be much higher. So, if it is father sage by grandfather sage is 7 by 4, grandfather sage is, sorry, father sage by grandfather sage is 4 by 7, grandfather sage is 7 by 4 into 40, 70 years. Now you see, father sage, father by grandfather is 40 by 70, which is 4 by 7, father sage is 4 by 7th of grandfather sage. Now, what is the difference between age of the grandfather and age of the grandfather is 70. 
age of the child will be defined out this year 8 the difference is 70 minus 8 which is equal to 62 that is the difference difference between the age of the grandfather and the child get the next question Tarak's father is 3.5 times his age so I read my past present and future here if Tarak's age is x so father will be 3.5 x because Tarak's father is 3.5 times Tarak's age now Tarak's mother is going to be 35 5 years hence it means 5 years in the future Tarak's mother is going to be 35 so Tarak's mother now is 30 years old Tarak's mother and grandmother their ages are in the ratio of 3 is to 5 so mother is 30 grandmother we do not know that if it has to be in the ratio 3 is to 5 if you cross multiply you know 3 is to 5 gm has to be grandmother's age has to be 50 so mother's present age you know is 30 grandmother's present age you know is 50 now a ratio of tarak's grandfather grandmother and tarak's present ages are in the ratio 6 is to 5 is to 1 so let us take grandmother and grandfather's ratio okay 6 is to 5 is to 1 also means grandfather and grandmother are in the ratio 6 is to 5 grandmother and tarak are in the ratio 5 is to 1 grandfather and tarak are in the ratio 6 is to 1 okay so if i write 6 is to 5 is to 1 for 3 grandfather grandmother and tarak again take two of these also so grandfather by grandmother is equal to 6 by 5 grandmother i know is 50 so gf by 50 is equal to 6 by 5 i know grandfather is 60 that's another age that we figured out so now grandfather's age is 60 grandmother's age is 50 mother's age is 30 tarak sage in similarly if you do gm by tarak you take these two parts is 5 by 1 so gm is 50 Tarak you don't know is equal to 5 by 1. So Tarak if you simplify get Tarak as 10. So Tarak is 10. Mother is 30. Grandmother is 50. Grandfather is 60. Then what is Tarak's father say? That's the first statement. Tarak's father is 3.5 times his age. So do not think 10, 20, 30. So Tarak's father has to be 40. Tarak's father is 3.5 times his age. So father is 35. Now Tarak's father is 35, mother is 30, right? What the question is, how old would Tarak's father be when his mother is 40 years old? Mother will be 40 years old 10 years later, right? She is 30 now, she will be 40 10 years later. 10 years later, father will be 35 plus 10, 45. So, looking at the next question, we past, present and future, we get the son's age in the present as in presently he is x mother is three times as old as the son so she will be three x let us take the age of the father as y so five years ago son's age was x minus five was one sixth the age of the father okay mother is five years younger than the father so three x is equal to y minus five so we substitute for y minus y here, we get x minus y is equal to 1 sixth of 3x, 2x minus 10 is equal to x, x is equal to 10, presently sun sage is 10, so this is what we have got. So we will verify whether this is correct, this is another way to look at uh, solving this using options, sun's current age is x. Mother's current age is 30. 5 years ago, son was 5. Hmm, other uh, 5 years ago, son was 5. Okay. Mother is 5 years younger than the father. So, father will be 35. 5 years ago, father was 30. 5 years ago, son was 1 sixth the age of the father. Hmm? And it is correct. Pramod is 1 third the age of his father. 3 years hence. Okay. Past present and future Pramod 
father pramod is x so pramod is one third age of his father you can make the father as three times the age of pramod is the same thing three years hence pramod's father is 3x 3 years hence is in the future pramod's father is 3x plus 3 pramod's father is three times the age of subu okay let us take subu as y so if currently his age is y 3 years hence he will be y plus 3 so you will get 3x plus 3 is equal to 3 times of y plus 3 4 years ago Subbu was 9 years old so 4 years ago in the past he was 9 years old which means presently he is 13 years old 3 years hence he is 16 years old correct so 4 years ago Subbu was 9 so that we have written here which means in the present he is 9 plus 4 13 now y plus 3 will be 16 so if I put 16 here 3x plus 3 is equal to 3 into 16 which is 48 3x equals 45 x is equal to 45 by 3 is equal to 15 presently Pramod is 15 father is 45 what is Pramod's age 5 years from now 45 plus 5 in the future he will be 50 so verify uh, father's age is 45 3 years since he is 48 so when he is 48 it will be 3 times Subbu sage so it's correct four years ago let's look at the next question now ages of Amar and Akbar are in the ratio 4 is to S, uh, x okay now Akbar is 20 years older than Anthony so Anthony was 20 years old 10 years ago okay so Anthony was 20 years old 10 years ago so currently Anthony's age is 20 plus 10. So Anthony currently is 30. He was 20 10 years ago. Currently is 30. Akbar is 20 years older than Anthony. So Akbar is 20 years older. So Akbar will be 50. Now ages of Ammar and Akbar are in the ratio 4 is to x. Now Ammar's age is 80% of Akbar's age. So Ammar is equal to 80% of Akbar's age. So, Amar is his 40. Have they asked Amar's age? No. So, they are saying ages of Amar and Akbar. So, Amar by Akbar A, Akbar's age is 40 by 50. They are in the ratio 4 is to x. Okay. So, what is x? x is equal to 5. x is not 50. Their ages. 40 by 50 simplifies as 4 is to 5. So x is 5. Is that the answer? No. They have asked the difference between Amar's age. Amar's age minus x. They have asked Amar's age minus x. Amar's age is 40. x is 5. So that answer is 35. So let's look at the next equation. Next question. Okay. You will have 4 years ago the ratio of x and y and it looks very complicated the question so i take past i take present and i take future now because there are too many of these complications of uh, sometimes and plus minus what i do i take my reference point as past I, you try using the reference point as the present and you will have some complicated equations become complicated so i'll take it in the past i'll take the ages of x and y in the past as x and y so, 4 years ago. So, now I will take their ages then. 4 years ago is x and y. So, what are the ratio half x is equal to half x by 4y equal to 5 by 12. So, I get when I simplify 6x by 4y is equal to 5 x by y 10 by 3 that is my current age so we take that as 10x and 3x now 8 years from now so it is 8 years from the present and this is 4 years this is 8 so what is this from the past to the future how much is it it is 12 you have taken the reference point as the past so your future will be 
four years from the past which will be the present and another eight years which will be the future so you will have to do a diff, uh, addition of 12 eight years from now x age will be 10x plus 12 because of this reason and y age will be 3x plus 12 a by b and you equate that to oh no eight years from now half of x age at that time so x age is 10x plus 12 so half of x age at that time is half of 10x plus 12 will be 2 less than y age at that time y age is 3x plus 12 minus 2 ok I have taken see that a ages are in the ratio 10 is to 3 instead of taking it as x you could have put the, another variable here you could have just written it as 10 a and 3 a ok so that is the same now when you solve you get 5x plus 6 is equal to 3x plus 10 2x is equal to 4 x is equal to 2 but x is age is 10x so x is 20 and y is age is 3a okay so that is 6 x is equal to 20 y is equal to 6 when is that age? It's in the past. Okay, so it's in the past. So this is 20. This is 6. And if they ask you the percentage, so that question could be the percentage. So if the present age, if they are 20 and 6, present ages would be 24 and 10. Future age, 8 years from now, will be 20 plus 4 plus 8. 32, 6 plus 4 plus 8, 18. Hmm? You can even check 4 years ago. The ratio between half of x age, half of x age is 10 and 4 times of y age is 24. Hmm? So 10 is to 24 is 5 by 12. So this is correct. 8 years from now, so in the future, half of x age will be 32, half is 16, will be 2 less than y age at that time. Half of will be 2 less. So, which is correct. So, half of x age, see, x age in the future will be 32. Half of x age is 16. y age will be 6 plus 12, which is 18. It will be 2 less than y age at that time. So, what you saw is correct. We got the present age of, uh, sorry, the ages in the past is 20 and 6, present age as 24 and 10. Rock's age was the same as Brock Lesnar's age 6 years ago. So, we have passed present and future so rocks current age is r brock lesnar's age six years ago so rocks current age is brock lesnar's age six years ago so if you take brock lesnar's current age is b okay sum of rocks age 16 years from now r plus 16 and brock lesnar's age eight years ago is 50 so r is b minus 6 r is b minus 6 b minus 6 plus 16 plus b minus 8 is equal to 50 so if you simplify you will get 2b plus 2 equals 50 2b equals 48 b is equal to 24 substitute b equals 24 in this r is equal to b minus 6 16 okay r rock say 16 years from now is 32 plus 8 is 18 sorry r this is uh, r is 24 minus 6 this should be 18 find the age of hulk hogan 6 years from now if he is 70 years older than Rock. Okay. Currently Hulk Hogan is currently Hulk Hogan says he is 70 years, 70 years older than Rock always. Right? That difference will never change. So it's 70 plus 18, which is equal to 88. Currently Hulk Hogan is 88. Six years from now he will be 94. Hulk 
six years from now. Let's look at the next question. Three years ago, Akshay and Sunil say this under ratio seven is to six. So we encountered this problem, right? Past, present, and future. Instead of taking the present, let me take this as the past. I take the age reference as the past Akshay and Sunil. Take Akshay and Sunil. This is the ratio seven x and six x. Remember, if you are taking the past as the reference, you will have to add to come to the present and then add to go to the future. Akshay says four years hence. So this is three, and this is another four. Akshay says four years hence will be seven x plus three will come to the present and plus another four will go to the future. He is one year more than Sunil says ten years hence. So if Sunil has to come to the future ten years, he has to take three years to the present and then go ten years into the future. This is equal to Sunil's age ten years from now will be six x plus three. He will come to the future plus ten. That is Sunil's age. It is one more than Sunil's age. So this plus one. Here you get seven x plus seven is equal to six x plus fourteen. X is equal to seven. X is equal to seven. So Akshay's age in the past is seven x. So Akshay's age is forty nine. Sunil's age is six into seven, forty two. That is in the past. Present ages you have to add three. So this will be fifty two and forty five. Okay, to verify three years ago, the ages are in the ratio seven is to six. Forty nine is to forty two is seven is to six. Akshay's age four years hence means forty nine. Plus three fifty two plus another four years he becomes fifty six is one year more than Sunil says ten years and so this is Sunil's present age ten years and he will be fifty five Akshay says is one year more than Sunil says so we have verified and found that their present ages are fifty two and forty five so you you saw that this was a very exhaustive set these are exam problems so they are going to be tricky. And we solved quite a few of these problems, so the video is very lengthy. But solving all of these questions on ages will give you confidence, will give you practice, will give you speed to solve such questions in exams. Definitely attempt questions on ages because you can practice it without knowing any formulae, and you can also understand the question, and you can verify the question, and you can solve it using the options if needed. So. If you liked the video, please like by clicking on the thumbs up sign, uh, share uh, our videos with your friends, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss on videos on aptitude, on technical, on placement related uh, uploads that we do. And uh, if you want to practice more in terms of tests or company related tests, please visit our website 7 Thank you so much if you watched. The, this is the fourth video in ages. If you have watched all the videos and you are with me until here, I congratulate you and I can assure you that any question in ages in the exam, you will be getting it correct. Thank you once again. All the best.